Hi, I'm Shelley Ware and I'm a proud ambassador for the Indigenous Literacy Foundation and I'm a young Kanjara Wurrungu woman living on the lands of the people of the Kulin Nation and happy to be here at this year's CREATE. Hi, my name's David Lawrence. I'm a very proud ambassador of the Indigenous Literacy Foundation. I'm an author uh, who specialises in writing books for kids between the ages of about eight and 12. So to write a book in a week is a really difficult and very quick process, but we start off by brainstorming out a framework together and making sure that we get all of the pieces right. And then we divide into groups and everybody gets to have a chance to write one of the little sections. We come together collectively, we read through, we give each other ideas and help with editing. And once we've done that, we will put the book together on paper with the help of the publishing company. And we get to see what it looks like in a book and in four days, we've got a book that's all printed and it's exciting to see them and the pride that they have at their book or they're ready for others to read and share in. We come in and we mentor the students and it's our job, Shelley and my job, to just encourage them to just do the best they can do and work really hard. And it is incredible to see the improvement in their writing skills that, that happens over the, the few days we're with them. Uh, it really is a joy to see their creative process work and their ideas. And it is, it's the best program I've ever been involved in anywhere in my life. One thing that's really important about these stories is it's from the girls' perspective. So it's, it's their ideas, it's their words that are in the book. You know, we're mentoring them, but we're not giving them the words. We are really just wanting them to tell us their story uh, so that kids from their own remote communities, they can read this book in years to come and really relate to it and get them excited about reading. This year's story is about a father and son heading to Tiwi Island and meeting an old friend who's a respected community member and they're running through the seasons and all of the joys that come with it and all of the trials and tribulations as well. So it's a lot of fun and a nice way to learn about the seasons on Tiwi Island and it's going to have some laughs in there and looking forward to you reading it. We wanted to teach people about our culture and four seasons of the TV. And for dry season, wet season, and hunting, fishing, and catching animals and eating.